Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of how to deploy your ASP.NET Core to Heroku for free. And this video, I am gonna cover how to deploy the database. Uh, this is part two. If you guys haven't seen the, uh, the first part, make sure you guys watch, so that way you guys can watch this video. Uh, in this, the first video, uh, we talk about how to deploy uh, the application uh, step by step. And this is part two. So I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to walk you through and how to deploy your database. I am going to be using a, a, pro, a post, Postgres uh, SQL. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So stay tuned. Um, so here I have the application. It's actually posted right now. It says um, in Heroku app. So this is the front end. Um, this is pretty much, uh, this is what all the database right now. So, oh, also I was going to show you guys this. This is actually, uh, using the a uh, YouTube API and, uh, you can actually watch the videos there. Uh, here's the video part one right here. It shows you step-by-step. -step. You can actually click on this. If you actually go to this link and you can click on this and it will lose. It will relocate you to uh, to the channel here. So pretty cool. Uh, you check that one out. Yeah, see, it's pretty cool. This is using a uh, YouTube API, and see all my videos there. So, all right, guys, make sure don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and I'll try to make a video. Um, every other day again. All right, so let's get let's get on the database. All right, so let me go ahead and open the application, uh, the ASP.NET Core. All right, so if you watch my first video, um, I walk you through how to set up your um, your account with uh, Heroku, and also how to cre uh, create the database. So this is so make sure you your app settings. Make sure it matches the one that's located on the uh, on the actual Heroku. So let me let me open it up so that way you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the uh, post Postgres uh, SQL. So here. Um, it has all your credentials. All right, so it has all the credentials here. So make sure it matches the to the one and uh, right here. So make sure yours matches your application. So I have my application here. I have it all connected. And what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to create a, a migration. So hold on. So my migration, I am going to put it in this folder here in the data. So I am going to go ahead and create my first migration. Let it load up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do .NET EF migrations. Make sure you spell correctly migrations. And I'm going to add a new one. So it's going to be called add models. And this one I wanted to output inside my data folder. And I am going to create a folder, which is going to be called migrations. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It's going to take a little bit. If everything goes good, it's going to pop up over here. Um, also, I was going to show you guys the, um, the application my application here, it's responsive. So pretty cool. Well, that's creating, see, it's responsive. It's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, let's go back and see if it created the first migration. Yeah, it did, no errors at all. See, it says build succeed. All right, so next thing I am gonna go ahead and do a .NET. Oh, actually, let's make sure I actually created the folder where I want it. 
Yeah, see, it says right here, migration. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I am gonna do .NET EF, my, ah, I'm sorry, database update. Okay, I think it's update uh, database or database update. It's one of those. So I'm about to find out. All right, cool. So it built it. So now we can actually go back to the Hor uh, Heroku. Uh, let's see over here. So I can actually go back to the table, and it should be some tables built for me. See, there's 18 tables. There's one row. So cool. So now I can actually go to the application here and go to the. Uh, let me go ahead and reload this. And I am going to go ahead and register. I am going to register uh, myself. So I am going to register as an admin. I am going to register. I'm going to put down admin at Gmail. Uh, this one. Uh, no, that's, uh, I'm going to create an. The, yeah, let's use that phone number. And here, let's put down this. This is a, a number here. Put right here in. Let's put that there. 33044. And then the password course, I am going to create one. Oh, thanks. I don't want to save it. Oh, oh, what just happened here? Cool. See, it's been registered. So now I can go to the panel and I can actually go if I want to check my messages. Say I can check my messages. I can check members. So let's say I want to um, I want to go ahead and let's go ahead and send a message and see um let's go ahead and go to context let's go ahead and send a message let's put down let's put down uh, martin is the sender i put down martin at gmail.com uh looking for a website uh put down i love your i love your channel let's go ahead and send the message Okay, it says it's been sent. See that nice little icon there? It's been sent. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over here where it says panel, and I am gonna check my messages. And voila, see the message is there. Cool. So it, the database is actually working. So I can go ahead and delete it. See? Um, let, let's just, uh, and I can go ahead and log out. Uh, let me go ahead and log out. So see the panel disappears uh, and you can actually register, you know, you can register. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. See that how simple it is, how simple it actually works pretty cool. So the, the actual table is actually working. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool and it's free. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. It's free. See, it created a row, a data connection. And you know, this is how much uh, data it gives you. So I just want to, um, I just wanted, I wanted to share that with you guys how simple it is. So, um, you know, of course, Heroku is not paying me for that, but check out the, uh, uh, see, uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to go ahead and put some more pictures here. I'm going to put down, I'm going to put down some projects here and you guys can just go ahead and send a message if you like over here. Make sure don't put anything crazy because if not, I'll block you. Um, and check out the rest of my videos here. Okay. And then stay tuned for more. I'm working on another one for uh, Angular and Firebase. So that way I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and up, uh, put a picture of myself here. So stay tuned for more. Actually, you know what? Let me give you a little preview of the, uh, the uh, Angular application that I'm working on. Give me one second. All right, guys, so this is the same application. Um, I was just playing with it, trying to get a, 
trying to get Angular because um, you know Angular is the has another cool you know JavaScript framework. But uh, this one I'm using routing. See, it's not it's not reloading. See how it's nice. It's uh, so it doesn't refresh. That's what I like about it. Um, and here's a contact page. It looks just like the one for the ASP that I core. I'm comparing them, you know, next to each other. And but on this one here, I'm actually using Firebase. Let me show you guys. So uh, let me just send. Let me send a message. Hello, people. Hello. Oh, let me put down. Uh, I love your channel. It's in a message. See, it doesn't refresh nothing. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, so let me go ahead and log in. Um, go ahead and log in with Google real quick. And you see that? See, pretty cool. I'm still working on this, trying to make it, try to make it responsive. Uh, and you can actually uh, delete it. Look. It actually is persistent. So it's, this is actually connected to my Firebase. See, it's not, it, does, it, it doesn't disappear. So, and I could go ahead and delete it. it. Says, are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. Hit okay, boom, it's gone. Uh, I still got to work on the projects. So I got to do that. So it's pretty cool. It's, uh, that's another project that I'm going to make a video how to, you know, how to do that. Once I finish, it's going to be uh, Angular and Firebase. So stay tuned for for that one. Uh, and let me go back to the project here. I want to show you guys how um, how amazing I can actually display. Um, I can actually upload pictures. Let me show you guys. So hold on. What just happened here? I think I got too many things open. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, So I'm gonna I'm gonna hear my post. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oh, let me show you guys. I can actually open the whole thing. See, pretty cool. So see, and it's mobile responsive too. So uh, this one here, I can add up a new post. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add up a new a new post. So let me go ahead and do that real quick, and I'll show you guys the picture and everything. All right. So I got a title. I got to deploy under five minutes. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. And something just happened. Yeah, there it is. Something happens. Some, I think something with the internet. But yeah, see, the picture is right here. It deploy. And let me go ahead and go where it says projects. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was not projects. It was my blog. Yeah, see, the picture is right here. I put down. I put down, oh, and it has pagination, of course, once you start doing that, but you can actually read more. See, pretty cool. Yeah, and you can actually write a comment on it. Let me put down, I love the post. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. Yeah, and it actually gives you a time frame and everything. See, it was created, pretty cool. So, and then you can actually go back so, and I can actually go back to the panel and go back to where it says my pose. See, it says it shows the images. I can actually edit. And it has this cool loading um, thing, the internet. Oh, there it is. So, see, and it actually shows the picture there that I, that I got there that I currently have. So, let's like say I want to change it, I can change it and everything. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. Yeah, so you can actually so it's 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 live, so you guys can you guys can check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and log out. I'm gonna leave that picture there. And uh, all right, well that's it, guys. Anyways, all right. So stay tuned for more videos, and I will see you guys on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment, and hopefully you guys like the video, uh, even if you don't like it leave a comment, but I'm pretty sure you guys did. Anyways, show some love to the channel and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.